He is the existing leader. He will continue to have my support as long as he wishes to remain leader of Fianna Fáil. There isn't a more decent, honest, upright politician in Dáil Éireann. Everybody knew there were mutterings. Everybody knew that his performance as a leader was less than optimal. Um, and yet you had all of these ministers coming out and declaring their confidence in him when none of the people in the country had confidence in him. Micheál Martin was the only cabinet minister to publicly withdraw his support from the Taoiseach. I have reluctantly concluded that in these circumstances Fianna Fáil should change its leader before the election and I have informed the Taoiseach of this view. Having talked to most members of the parliamentary party and indeed many members of the party across the country, I believe that this is a widely held view. Brian Lenehan had been privately critical of Cowan's leadership, but in public had always towed the line of loyalty to the leader. Now Micheál Martin had broken ranks and the finance minister was in a dilemma. I've never said there was a vacancy. I've actually never said I would contest the leadership if there was a vacancy. That's the position I've stuck to. And I am amused at newspaper headlines suggesting that I'm organising a coup or a challenge. I can tell you one thing. I haven't had time to organise a coup or a challenge in the last year. We were simply devastated because that was not what we expected from him. Quite frankly, I couldn't let the question be unanswered. What Brian Lenehan has been saying to you is not what he has been saying to the backbenchers over the last number of months. Uh, he did encourage dissent. Uh, he did encourage us to look at the numbers. He did express an interest uh, in the leadership. Uh, and that is what is shocking about what he has revealed today.